All right, I'm fixing to show you how to make a 30 inch ball out of fencing. I'm gonna show you something. This is 48 inch, two by four welded fencing. And I built this jig here, cuts it, and I'm getting ready to show you and how you can make your own ornament or ball. If this is something you're interested in, please stick around. Let me kind of show you this. The roll goes on there, feeds through all these rollers, and the cutters cut it. And then I'll roll it up. So let's, let's do this. What you have to do is just cut it down. This makes it easier, but if you don't have this, then you can use these. This will be in a link below. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut these little prongs off. Now on the third ring, I need three rings. I need two rings that has two loops, one, two. And I need one ring that has only one loop. Now I'm gonna cut my one loop. And whenever you cutting this wire fence, one thing you wanna look is when you cut, when it goes this way, you want on the bottom. The top runner that you're going with, you want on top. So it should look like this, cutting down it. That's the only way it keeps in line. you will cut yourself. So to kind of recap, I got two of these that has 46 loops. Two, two of these rings, 46 loops. And I'm gonna overlap. See here? I'm gonna overlap it. 
needle nose. A good pair of needle nose will save you a lot of cussing. So. Just take it. Catch it. See how I'm doing this? See? I'm going in and I'm catching it. I'm doing it and then I'm pulling it around and then up. And then I catch it again and finish it. Now if you'll do the ends, the three ends, and then just the one center in the back, that's all it needs. There's one ring. It's two. Now this little ring and this is really important. You know how on the two rings we put loop two? We, we loop two of them. We want to do only one. See there? Only one. And the reason why, it's got to fit over the two. I'm going to do this. So, see the two? Or it's overlap. We're going to grab the other two that's overlap. And we're going to put it together. And I'm going to grab my C-ring gun and C-ring it. You don't have a C-ring gun? These pieces that you cut off earlier, use them. A little more difficult. Make you want to cut it yourself. That's one, but I'm going to show you how simple it is with a heat ring gun. See how much simpler this is? Just grab it. Let's see, ring it. Now I need to find the bottom, the center, so I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 full loops here, full loops there. All four corners. If you don't have a C-ring gun, use wire, whatever you've got. Now we've got this, and we're going straight down over it for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half, seven and a half, and one and a half. we got to do is put chicken on the Now I've got this bent in half. Now here's what I want you to look at. This is a solid wire all the way. It will not stretch at all. And I've got both straight wires, end wires at one end. Now this now doesn't. See how that'll stretch? That'll pull? Because it has that if, if I was to fold it like this you will see it's like this and as I pull it it pulls in so it allows you to curve around it. now I'm gonna wrap this ball this way
pole of wire, solid wire, and see ring. Now what we want to do is make sure this is tight. And just pull this. It'll go a little bit curvy. But what you're going to be able to do is pull this however you want it. So I can grab, if you have a C-ring gun, you can grab it and pull it. So just go around it with the solid wire. Unroll your wire, you fold it in half, bend it over. I like to do it in sections, so I'm going to unroll me probably about 20 feet. Now what I'm going to do is go through the and straighten these out. I'm going to pull them. See how I'm grabbing this? See, this is a very stout ball. This is the basic, and this is galvanized. This is a shiny, and this has already started getting a little rust on it. Paint, this will not rust in under paint. This will rust in under latex paint. Now this needs a little bit more chicken wire around it, so I'm going to go ahead and put 20 more feet on it. So I cut 20 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 24 loops. going to do about 10 more feet. I'm going to go this way first.
remember, chicken wire is forgiving. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can bend it into shape. Now I'm gonna curve this over just to give it a better look whenever it's painted. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can beat it into shape. So, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to put more of the chicken wire onto my ornament so that it looks fuller and we're going to shape it up. But first, I want to show you how I've rigged up my chicken wire. So, I've got a metal pipe here, as you can see, and then I took an old strap, the edges, cut the strap and just hang it and you can just see how this is so quick and easy and it'll just hang on there and I put a piece a pipe to keep it from running into this one because I'm pulling it to my left my right side mostly now if you don't have a piece of pipe you can just simply take a vegetable can and you can cut both sides out on a vegetable can and just place it there. All it does is just keep your chicken wire from running into your ends of your strap. And this here is very efficient and it will help you to keep it where it's easy to unroll. Up there is just a piece of chain. You can just find something to hang it on. This is too high. The first thing I want to do is to shape this over and make this a little bit smaller. This way, when I go to fill this in, if I need any chicken wire up here, I can just do it. Let's get to it. I like using these when I'm going across. It just seems to work quicker and better. Another thing I like to do is I like to take these sharp points and I like to bend it twice. I'll bend it down like this and then I'll bend it back up and making sure that this sharp point is shorter than this. And the reason is we'll put it on like this and nobody can grab it or cut themselves. It's just a, a safety feature. As I roll this last layer, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to come all the way around, come back around, and go back. Squeeze it in and it'll give it a great little effect at the end of it once it's painted. I'm trying to get this so that you can see how it, I'm going to take the edges and just kind of bend it a little bit over and then see ring them.
I'm gonna crisscross it as I go from one side to the next. I'm trying to keep it right on the edge as I keep it tight. Now we're at the end of our wire and it doesn't make it all the way up, but that's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bend this over, this away. And then we're gonna bend it back, that away. This way, nobody can grab a sharp wire. A five gallon bucket to place my ball on so that I can spin it easily. Let's unroll some more wire. I like to use the 10 snip cutters to cut the chicken wire and a link below. The very sharp edges is hidden in white and you can't touch them. Now I'm going to try to show you that I have to go around here and if you can see see how this what you want to do is just go around it you can either grab it and pull it or it's easier just take it put it in a hole and, and stretch the wire Come back, seat ring it, and get it all tight. Ring gun, you can grab on one side, pull, and then seat ring. Hey, if you like this video, please let me know. Just leave it in the comments. So I appreciate it. Thank you. And please like and subscribe.